Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I am Alex and I am still here in Germany, Kassel. Uh, now I am uh, here with Aldo. Hello Aldo. Yes, my name is Aldo Desi and I come from Parma. Parma is a small, small town in the north of Italy and my firm is Caricat Militaria and Collectibles. I am specialized in all Italian uh, items from uh, uniform, helmets, with a special rank for uh, Italian fascist dagger and Italian fascist swords. And pre-fascist all uh, daggers and swords that looks great and sounds great yeah and you have a this lot is of, a part a, a, a lot of items uh, here it's very interesting items uh, on your display yeah yeah uh, there is a, a special uh, selection of uh, italian fascist uh, daggers mm -hmm. uh, for example uh, this this one this is uh, the special um, Galeazzi Spezia for a diver man. Mm -hmm. World for Italian War divers. Yes, for divers. It's uh, World War II. Uh, then uh, we have a uh, special and uh, uncommon dagger that is this. It's uh, a 1923 model, also used by uh, Libic paratroopers uh, regiment uh, during the Second World. And, and, and you have a couple of interesting daggers in this presentation box. Uh, yes. Could, can we put it outside and uh, I, can show it? I keep it out. Okay, well, this uh, is a, a very important presentation uh, box for uh, an important Italian fascist general. Uh, the box is red with uh, a um, repro of uh, a crocodile uh, skin and uh, inside you can see two daggers 1932 model for general with white grip and 1932 without the yes usually <coughs> usually the box for this kind of dagger are for one dagger with uh, one scabbard and a place for the second scabbard. In this case, the general, it was maybe very, very, very rich, and it has a box for two complete dagger. Mm -hmm. One for daily service and the nickel plated for parade use. And difference, difference is only in... Uh, in the scabbard, yes. Yeah. The, 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 the daggers are the same daggers, and uh, part of Portuguese. Yes, uh, uh, it missed the gold knot mm -hmm. because uh, this is uh, the black knot for the black scabbard and uh, with uh, the nickel plated uh, scabbard it used uh, one he used the one gold knot mm -hmm. and these are the shoulder boards for the uniform. Yeah, it's very interesting. And this is, uh, uh, <coughs> we can understand that uh, why you told about rich guy mm. uh, because usually for the savings uh, general could have uh, one dagger and two different scabbards yes and, uh, just, just the, yes this is the first time that i found uh, one box mm -hmm. with the place for do two complete dagger usually how much, it, it? How much cost uh, i ask uh, 8500 euro mm -hmm. And um, how much is it uh, to buy just one regu uh, regular uh, general item, general dagger? Uh, usually one uh, dagger like this costs from 2,000 to 2,500 euros. Mm -hmm. In this case, for example, this, uh, it has a scabbard. So 5,000 5, it costs on the daggers? Yeah, uh, but uh, 1,000 the shoulder. Uh, mm -hmm. 150, 200 euro this, but the most expensive is the box. And you have another one, another um, general yes. dagger, and there is a difference. Uh, yeah, the difference is uh, that this is the second model, and this is the first model. This mm -hmm. is uh, 1932, this is a 1937 model. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the different uh, he is uh, is more longer, and uh, it has it has only one scabbard. Mm-hmm. But uh, the is uh, mm, where the mm, black uh, black knot for uh, daily use and gold for parade. Mm-hmm. And uh, from that time, from that time, uh, scabbard was only in black. In yeah. that, this model. And for um, this is for low officer. This is for low officer. This is for general. Mm-hmm. And scabbard is the same. Is the same. And two different types of uh, hangers. I yeah, uh, the, uh, we we have uh, two well. different. Uh, Kind one in leather mm-hmm. and uh, one in uh, metal. Mm-hmm. Uh, then uh, in leather there are a lot of uh, makers, producers, and uh, you can find uh, small difference from uh, one to others. But they were the first uh, is uh, in um, metal and then in leather. Okay. And could you explain about um, another types of daggers? Because this is a very interesting. Interesting, because uh, this is uh, for NCO. Mm-hmm. Uh, for NCO, uh, uh, always from uh, militia. Mm-hmm. Is uh, similar to German dagger, like this. Is uh, maybe like German bayonet grip. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's interesting. And another one. Uh, this, uh, this is an important. This is another important uh, uh, knife, dagger. Uh, the name is uh, Fidelite because uh, this is uh, inscribed on the guard. Unfortunately, this is uh, broken and uh, restored, but uh, this is very, very rare. Mm-hmm. And that's very good when uh, you can uh, say that something was uh, broken and restored. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. And this one interesting. Could you open it? Yes, this is uh, the knife for uh, Italian divers from uh, Royal Marine, and is a screw. How much like, is it? Sorry. How much is it? This cost uh, near two thousand, two thousand four hundred. Must be careful because uh, this was been uh, reproduced in. Uh, Uh, at the hand of 80. Oh, ah, sorry. And uh, you must be careful, really careful. Yeah. And what watermarks you can uh, show for to buy original one? Uh, we, you have to uh, see this inscription that uh, the fake are a little more bigger the, the letter are a little uh, bigger than it. yes than this and important is the color because uh, you usually the old one they are um, dark bronze color mm-hmm. when you see very bright uh, is a uh, you have oh, okay. to make attention and this part is different too yeah we uh, royal marine had Uh, three or four different kind of uh, knife like this. Yes. Uh, this is an interesting uh, dagger. Uh, this uh, particular is in mint condition, really. It is uh, the, the dagger for incursory of a Royal Marine. Incursory is uh, the actually uh, Navy SEALs, American Navy SEALs, they are incursory. This is aluminium. And uh, he's a fighting knife. This, uh, I think, uh, we <laughs> never use it. And how much is it in this condition? Uh, 2,075 euro. Mm-hmm. These are uh, uh, combat, uh, 1939 combat knife. And this one person used? Yes, this is uh, personalized. Uh, by the soldiers with the name maybe of the daughter, the, the son, the, the, the wife mm-hmm. and he uh, has a very good uh, knife to combat because the blade is a very strong blade and it was used uh, uh, by Italian paratroopers and by Italian uh, marine, uh, infantry of marine during the RSI uh, 
uh, era from 1944 to 1945 by Decima Flotilla Mass. That's famous, famous flotilla. And this one the same, but... Uh, uh, without uh, mm -hmm. engraved. Right. This is a difference with the price. Yeah. Okay, that's very interesting. Thank you for your explain. And about helmet, you have a couple of helmet here. About the helmet, uh, I have uh, two helmet uh, that they are Italian, but uh, this is uh, for uh, Albanian kingdom. Mm -hmm. This is the the, um, the guard of a Red Zog helmet, and uh, this is uh, an, in, an interesting helmet from for. Uh, Republican, Republican National Guard from 19, uh, 1944 to 1945. Mm -hmm. That's interesting too. And this is the original paint on yeah. um, and the original yeah. emblems. And inside. Yeah. And how much is it? Uh, this cost uh, 1,500 euro and this uh, uh, the same mm -hmm. because they are very rare. Then I have others, Italian Nice. How, mu how much is um, just a regular helmet uh, without emblems? Uh, well, uh, a normal uh, Italian helmet without emblem costs from 150 to 200 mm -hmm. uh, euro in Italy. Okay. If it is, it is a very, 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 very nice, perfect, clean, you can arrive to 250. Okay. Then I have uh, other Italian steel helmets in the other side. This is a beautiful Italian Carabinieri. He has a black... Carabinieri is uh, like police? Yes. Mm -hmm. is a, I saw like, Carabinieri in Italy. <laughs> yes. He's a like police. Um, this is black with a silver at front badge because uh, it was uh, for uh, no combat service. And uh, this is uh, very beautiful because uh, it has still the first kind of liner without reinforced aluminum reinforced here and uh, we have uh, only two bands not with a uh, letter Z mm -hmm. Zeta uh, has a okay, produce. yes this is a, a black shirt with a black with a yellow badge that is very very used still this with a first kind of a liner yeah, with two. Yes, and this is a very interesting helmet. Always first kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, liner, but uh, it was uh, black, maybe carabinieri or militia, mm -hmm. but uh, used in combat and uh, repainted it with uh, two different hands of colors. Mm -hmm. It's nice. And um, what is your favorite item on your table? Here? Yes, here. Now. Uh, what I I like it. I like all. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, I understand. But what is favorite? I, I like this. This is an important model of a special plane who did an important war flight during the 1942. They start from Rome, they arrived in Tokyo, and then they return from Tokyo to Rome, crossing China and Russia. Mm -hmm. In it, 19, uh, 1942. 42. Yes. It is one of the, impost, uh, one of the most important uh, war action did by Italian Royal Air Force. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they don't know this, but... Uh, yeah. we are, you like history? Yeah. yeah. And now uh, subscribers of World yeah, because Story uh, Yeah, because the story is written always from the winner, not from the loser. Mm -hmm. But uh, we did a lot of important action during the Second World. Yeah, that's very interesting. And yeah. how much is it? This costs uh, 2,000 euro. Yeah. Because it's a special model. Um, it's a senior directly from the factory, from the Savoia Marchetti, and they 
uh, given this uh, to a little, uh, to few people, uh, the pilots, uh, the crew, and uh, others important uh, member of the fascist mm -hmm. party. But maybe they produce uh, 20 of these, not more. Okay. okay, maybe we will tell this story in war story about this <laughs> flight. Okay, Aldos, thank you very much for your explain. Thank you very much for your uh, discuss. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> for your story. About I, your I, I thank you for your uh, your uh, your job, and uh, I hope next time to find <laughs> something more interesting than this uh, to show it to you. Okay, thank you very much. Safe trip home. You're welcome. See you next time. Bye. Bye.